welcome to how to search the CMS Medicare Revalidation List tool video. This tool is provided to you by the Center of Medicare and Medicaid Services, also known as CMS, to help you identify a provider's revalidation due date. To begin, we are going to go ahead and go to data.cms.gov forward slash revalidation. Once on the home page, you'll find the revalidation due date of an individual provider, group, or facility currently enrolled in the Medicare program by populating the National Provider Identifier, NPI, under Find a Provider search feature. If you scroll down on the home page, under the information about the tool, indicates the last and next time this data will be refreshed by CMS, as well as other pertinent information, a newly established provider will not be shown until the tool is refreshed. If you find that TBD, which means to be determined, is the revalidation due date, it means CMS has not set the date yet and the provider will need to check back. Further down the page, under information about associated data sets and related data sets, you will be able to find and save entire list of members in a single spreadsheet, no matter how many lists of members in a single group on the spreadsheet for providers and non-physician practitioners, so physicians and non-physician practitioners. So let's go ahead and try to do a demonstration. If you enter in an NPI and find a provider, under the, the search for find a provider, the results will show up. This particular situation has two enrollments. They're two different states. One is Connecticut and one is Pennsylvania. Each one of these represents an enrollment and it specifies the specialty, the type of enrollment, and if it's an individual, it'll specify the benefits that the provider is rendering to other entities. You can go ahead and select one and you'll see all of the entities that this provider renders to. The individual provider had a due date of 6-30-2020. However, at this time, is not asked to revalidate. Neither is the other one. So both of them don't have a revalidation due date. Now let's clear it and let's try to do a group. So we're gonna enter in a group information and the results show three enrollments for this group. One is a federally qualified health center, one is a clinic group practice, and then another is a federally qualified health center. These are part A's for the federally qualified health center and the clinic group practice is a part B, all in the state of Connecticut. This group does have 124 individuals that render services and you can click on the group and you'll be able to see all of those individuals that are connected to the group. For a fairly large group, you might want to go ahead and use the associated data sets. So let's go and try the associated data sets. Scroll down. Select the revalidation reassignment list. You're going to have the view data, which will populate all of the information for all of the enrollments and all of the individuals that are associated. To find, you just enter in the entity's name and it will show you all of the lines. Understand that each row is an association of an individual associated to the group. As you can see here, this group has multiple enrollments. So you might want to go ahead and filter down 
to what enrollment that you would like to go ahead and narrow it down. This particular group has 275 individuals. So let's narrow it down to that by using the filter. The filter, once selected, you can select the column that you're gonna go ahead and filter on. I'm gonna select on the group enrollment ID. I want the condition to equal zero and I want the value to equal the one enrollment and apply the filter. It will come down then to the 275. Or you can go ahead if you know the enrollment and just paste it right in and it'll get you right to the 275 also. Each area can be expanded. So we have 10, 50, and 100 rows. And each column, you can go ahead and manage. If you scroll across, you'll notice that all the information about each individual is here. And at the very end, it actually shows how many reassignments that individual has, as well as the individual due date. We recommend that you go ahead and export this, either CVS, I'm sorry, CSV or CSV for Excel. If you want to go ahead and find an individual that has a due date, you can go ahead and copy their NPI and go back to the start of the presentation by selecting the overview and launch the tool again and enter in just like we went over to find that individual's revalidation due date, which is TBD. We want to make sure you understand that this is one of our opportunities that we have for you. So please go ahead and stay tuned for other National Government Services YouTube channel opportunities.